Let's see VS Code installation and prepare it for Rust application development. You can download VS Code from code.vsvisualstudio.com. You can download a stable build or insiders. There is some other options are available. I used Windows. See, for Windows it shows stable for user installer means VS Code install only for current users app data. But now I want to install for all users. I want system installer. Then only I can have only one installation and all user can use the single instance. So I go to other downloads option. Here it shows all options for x86, x64 and portable installer zip format. I choose system installer for x64 and downloaded it. Then I install as like other software and I chose C colon VS code as its location and select add path then create desktop icon and continues then finished installation and open VS code. Now VS Code is open and shows get started page. It shows four modes dark, light, dark high contrast and light high contrast. I need dark mode and something from dark high contrast mode. So I have to manually set it. Now I choose dark mode. I open a Rust project. It asks trust dialog. Then I select Trust and Continues. It's like some grey shade. And let's add some plugins. Before that, let's check the Rust version. We have 1.66.1. Now I uncheck startup page and close this page. First I enable screencast to show what keys I pressed. Then I set font size to 36 and a vertical offset to 10 and uh, keyboard shortcut format to command with group keys. Then we have to toggle screencast mode. See here it shows all keys I typed. Here I want to show only keyboard shortcuts which I used. Not all keys I typed. So I select only keyboard shortcuts. Now check it. See it's not showing the keys I which I typed in editor. But it shows backspace key and control S keys. First I install material icon theme plugin and enable it. 
and also set file icon theme. Next I install reload plugin. This is useful. Sometime we need to close and reopen the IDE. At that time we can use reload plugin. Next I install Rust Analyzer pre-release version. Then I check the Rust Analyzer by stop and restart it. Next I install even better Tamil plugin. This is useful to view and edit Tamil files. Then I install crates plugin. This is useful to add crates with specific version and get information about updated crates and new release. Next install error lens. This will propagate all errors from all files with error hints and you can install VS Code Proto3 plugin to support proto files to build gRPC based APIs and it is not necessary if you are not in gRPC development. Next I install Code LLDB plugin. This is a native powerful debugger but it consumes more CPU power. It's good for small projects but for large projects large real time projects it is not advisable instead of that you can use cargo build for specific crate because restoration ice also runs aside these are enough for rest development and i also install emoji sense to get some emojis at free time Now let's configure VS Code. So I open settings and type zoom in search bar and increase window zoom level to 0.4. Next I set telemetry level to off. Next I want to set the def terminal default profile to command prompt but it is not in the list so I try to set it by another way. Open terminal by pressing ctrl tilde and open the terminal setting configuration menu. Select default profile. It shows command prompt, git bash and powershell. I select command prompt you can select as your wish.
Now see the settings as in JSON format by pressing this file icon. See our all settings modifications are stored in settings.json file. See here integrated terminals default profile for windows is set to command prompt. Next I set terminals cursor style to line and terminal font size to 16. Next set editor font size to 16. You can set all these options from settings page also. Now I disabled minimap from settings page and it is added in settings json file also. Next I set true for bracket pass guides. See now I set false for it and see the bracket guide in main.rs. No guides found for matching brackets. And then I set it true and see file main.rs the brackets are matched with yellow guidelines. Next settings for inlay hints enabled. I used to set it by off unless pressed. See the changes in main.rs. When I pressed Ctrl Alt, the inlay hints are shown in white color near all variable. See here colon i32 and colon user is inlay hints. Off unless pressed means show inlay hints only when ctrl alt is pressed and hide always on unless pressed means hide inlay hints only when ctrl alt is pressed and show always Next set default formatter as rustlang rust analyzer. This is somewhat important in formatting rust files. Next see set format on save to true. Next line numbers settings. It has four options off, on, interval and relative. You can set as your wish. The default is on.
Next we can reduce the spacing in, in line numbers. Here if you set folding to false means folding icon space is removed. Here I set glyph margin to true. So glyph margin pencil icon is shown. And now I set it to false. So glyph icon space margin is removed. And I maintained folding to true and glyph margin to false. Next tab sizing. It has two options fit and shrink. I select shrink. Next I moved sidebar to right. Next I set rust analyzer check on save is to true. For large real time projects it consumes more CPU power and it makes the system slow. So beware of it. Better set it to false for large projects. Next set rust analyzer dot check command to clippy. This is the external one and the check is default. Kindly note one thing here in sidebar. With project files, many unrelated files like git files and images like thumbs.db and for Rust project, the files in target folder are somewhat unrelated. So we can hide it by setting file start exclude, exclude option. And here I add all files in target folder. So it hides target folder within sidebar view. Next you can prevent update for VS code by setting the following options. Now I don't want to prevent updation so I commented all these. Next I want to set some keyboard shortcuts for some toggle commands.
first is activity bar i set control shift a b to toggle activity bar and next status bar I set control shift S B for toggle status bar. Next menu bar, I set control shift M B to toggle menu bar. Next customize layout menu. I set control shift C L to toggle customize layout. Next screencast mode. I set control shift S C to toggle screencast mode. Now the main part color customization. First I change editor background to black, then sidebar background to black. Next I paste some color settings we will go through one by one. Line 38 and 39 sets activity bar background to and border to black. Line 36 and 37 sets sidebar background and border to black. Line 41, 42, 43 sets tabs colors to black. Line 44, 45 sets tab group header color to black. Line 46, 47 sets title bar status bar background to black line 48 and 49 sets inlay hints color Finally note here, without this color settings, the default color is white and it somewhat not looks good to view in lay hints. Kindly note the foreground and background color after setting colors for in lay hints color. Now it's good to view. Then menu background and bedroom colors.
you can show or hide sidebar by keyboard shortcut control b sidebar may contain file explorer page or search page or source control page or debug page and plugin page open file explorer page in sidebar by control shift e and open side search page in sidebar by control shift f and you can open source control page in sidebar by control shift g and open debug page in sidebar by control shift d and the extend page by control shift x you can toggle activity bar by the given shortcut control shift a b and you can also toggle status bar by the given shortcut control shift s b to set debug breakpoint we need cliff margin side so i set it to true in status page now i set breakpoints now debug the program by pressing debug button above in main function now debug starts all intermediate variable and values are displayed in debug page you can step over by f10 key and you can stop debug anytime by pressing stop button open setting start json by pressing control shift to p see we installed rust analyzer pre release from extension page and we can also install plugins in offline mode also so for that i open marketplace of visual studio here i search for rust analyzer and open its page You can download it from here or from repository release page. I downloaded stable release of Rust Analyzer plugin for Windows. This is a VSIX file. We can install it by simply drag and drop on extension page. See now it is installed. See the version 0.3.1369. And we can switch stable release to pre-release version anytime. But it requires reload. You can make full screen by pressing F11.
Thank you.